Good day, welcome to Unity with Heaven. My name is Joseph, and today I am with Kimi, and we're gonna minister to 10 people. So, uh, uh, many of you have written your names in the comments, and that's why you're on here. Uh, some were also a few names that were left over of a prophetic ministry that we did on Monday night. So, excited uh, to have you here uh, today. If you in the future would like to receive ministry, just write your name in the comments. I got a running list, and I just keep on adding the names, and we minister uh, to people. The Lord has given me a mandate to do this, and so we're loving it. Uh, it's a lot of work to every day do it, but I said to the Lord, yes, Lord, I'll be faithful and I'll minister. All right, and so Kimi, she's my daughter, so she doesn't have much of a choice. I just say, come Kimi, you're going to come and help me. And then she is very happy to, to minister and she's also growing in, in her ministry. So that's good for her. All right. So uh, we're going to start to minister and the first is John McDonald. Okay, John, the Lord shows me uh, a lot of options, a lot of uh, things that uh, you want to do, things on the bucket list. And I just see how the Lord just comes into your room and He says, come, let's take all the trash out. Let's take all of this, those ideas that are not godly ideas or uh, God's perfect ideas for your life. Let's just get it all out. And I see how the Lord take a long list of things that you can do and he uh, reduce it down to two or three very important things and then the Lord says focus on that and you, just like when you see a seashell and the seashell starts wide and it goes smaller and smaller to the, the center and I see how the Lord is helping you to focus on the things in your life that are very very important and the Lord is going to uh, uh, continue to bless you with your finances and he is going to continue to release the anointing of God on your family and the Lord is going to um, uh, use you in the ministry that he has for you in your life and I see uh, other things that's exciting and it's nice for you but I see how the Lord just helps you to reduce the time on those things and focus on the things where the, the blessing of God is and so there's a there's an open door ab above you there's an open window of blessing but when you focus on the wrong thing it's as if you missed on the blessing and so the Lord wants you to be um, a bucket that can receive all the rain and all the blessings and the strategies that the Lord is giving to you from heaven God bless you Amen. the thanks for this for Velma. The Lord shows me how He asks you to, to listen for His voice in, in the quiet times, in the times where you are not sure. I hear the Lord saying that He is always speaking to you, He is always giving you strategy, and He's always there to comfort you. So w even when you feel like you can't hear anything, I hear the Lord saying that means you need to wait longer. Wait for my voice. Don't just assume I'm not talking to you because the Lord is always talking to you because He loves you so, so much, and, and He is speaking good things to you things that that'll build you up and not break you down be blessed are they awesome Elisma um, uh, the Lord is showing to me a horse and that horse is standing uh, right in the gate ready for the those little gates to open up so their horse can run and so this uh, horse has a tremendous amount of energy uh, he has vision he wants to go and he's just waiting for that opportunity uh, but the horse cannot start running until uh, it's time for all the horses to start running and open up all their stores and i just felt that the lord is giving you uh, wisdom is giving you patience to say daughter just wait for me so that you can run in sync with me so that people around you are ready for what you have to to give um, so the Lord wants you to spend a lot of time to go into his um, presence into his throne room uh, into the realm where he is and experience him have encounters with him let him speak to you let him give strategy all in preparation for that moment when those doors open up and he start to run and I felt um, let me say September September next year, I feel, okay, there the doors goes open and there uh, you run. And so there's lots of things that the Lord is busy lining up in your life. So 2025 will be a pivotal year for you. Because, you know, when you look at the hourly glass, how there's sand, and the sand go, and then it goes through a small little space, and then it goes to a big space again. And I felt 2025, it's like lots of things comes together. And so you just got to be patient and have wisdom of God, and then uh, more opportunities will will expand again. So that that's what the Lord is saying to me. God bless you. Amen. This word, this next word is for um, Angela. Angela, the Lord says that He wants you to to build something real, that you are going to create something real. And and the Lord is just reminding you that it doesn't always need to look nice. It doesn't always need to look pretty. It doesn't always need to be so professional. 
and so um, structure, well, there needs to, well, you know what I mean by, by structure. It doesn't need to be step one, two, and three. The Lord tells me how he wants you to make something, something, something real, like a tree. A tree is real. It has, it has imperfections. It's not a, something that is fake and that doesn't move with the wind. It just, it just stands there like those fake plants. It just, it just, it just stays there and it doesn't do anything. It doesn't get bigger or smaller, but like a real tree, it'll, maybe a branch will break off, but it will still continue to grow. I hear the Lord saying that even though something has fallen off, it will still grow as long as it is planted in Him. Be blessed. Okay, awesome. Angela, uh, God loves you very, very much. Uh, Angela, um, this the, I did see a beach and you and your family uh, are resting and I'm sure, I just feel in my heart, the Lord is going to open up an opportunity for you to have that rest. Uh, God bless you, Angela. All right, Audrey, so uh, this word is very much anticipated and you're praying and you're asking God uh, for him to speak to you. And so I trust that the word that I will give you will help you. Okay, so what the Lord uh, showed to me, uh, he showed to me uh, the the Israelites going through the Red Sea. All right now, you know the time when it's Passover. It's like what uh, April, May, and in, in that in that time of the year. All right, um, and that's the time when the Lord sent Moses. The Mo Moses did all that ten plagues, and then uh, the Lord took the Israelites out of Egypt uh, through the Red Sea, and they went into the desert. Okay. Uh, and that's where the Lord made a covenant with them and gave them the tabernacle and gave his presence and gave them the, the word, the law. So w what the Lord is showing to me, is showing to me that he is going to open up an opportunity of note. It's going to be a massive, something that you didn't see coming. Uh, you, there was delay and more delay and you thought, when is this going to happen? And then the Lord opened up an opportunity and he said, yes, Lord. And he went for it. Uh, and then the Lord started to bless you and he moved your family. And it was from one place to the new place. And, and I felt that the, the Lord says, just wait on me. Now, uh, in the Bible, there's a promise that says, they're going to be in, as, uh, uh, in, in Egypt for 400 years as slaves, and then the Lord will set them free. But if you go and count the years, you'll see it was actually 430 years. Right? Uh, and, and what happened when the Lord uh, raised Moses up the, the first time, it was 390 years. Uh, and then the scripture says there that they didn't have understanding. And so um, uh, I felt that the Lord says in the past, uh, there was opportunities, but there wasn't understanding to understand. But this is actually what God wanted us to do. This was the opportunity. This is the provision of God. All right. But the Lord says that he is forgiving you and your whole family. He's washing them clean with the blood of Jesus. And the Lord says he's opening up a new opportunity. And so he is going to break the delay. Uh, he is going to break the dishonor. And then he's going to open up the door and you will, you will know it is a big opportunity. So I felt. You're not just going to say, I want to go and I want to just stop this and start the new thing. I don't feel that's going to be like that. I feel it's going to be the Lord opens up a big opportunity. You can say, wow, here's a big opportunity. Let's let's go for it. And then suddenly the provision come for everything that needs to sell to sell and for for the the um, resources to be available to move and to be together and to do the right thing will then come into place. And so, um, you know, some people when they get married, they always say, wow, I met the guy, but then I also got the job and then uh, opportunity came for a place where we stay. And then uh, our father-in-law gave us a, a car and, you know, it's just like, and then we went overseas. So it's like lots of things that just like a miracle. And I felt that the Lord says, I want to do a miracle in your life and in your family's life and so you can trust in me that i will do it god bless you amen and um, this next word is for billy billy i hear the lord saying that you should yield your vote to the lord like if there's three uh, people and they all need to decide are we going to do this or are we not going to do this and the lord shows me how how you know like everybody will write something down and put it in a thing and they will anonymously anonymously Anonymously. An anonymously is that a word even? Um, take it out and see which choice. And I and I hear how how you have the pen and you have the paper, and you know what you want to say. But I I hear the Lord saying, wait on my say. Yield yield your say to me. Let me tell you 
what you're going to do, um, what you need to write down, what, what your vote is going to be. And, and the Lord is saying, trust in Him and trust that He is going to make the right decision because He is. When you, when you really, really listen to the Lord and the Lord shows me how He's going to give you confirmation on, on this decision, and, but he's also, even for future, he's going to teach you how sometimes you don't always need confirmation. You need um, the, the voice of the Lord and having faith, knowing that this is his decision. And, but for this decision, this, this, um, this new decision, this, one, this, this decision that is very recent in your life, the Lord shows me how he's going to give you confirmation to that. I also see how, how you are... Um, just giving the breaks to the Lord, saying, okay, we're slowing down now, we're speeding up. You are also giving that to the Lord. So the pace on which you are going to, 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 to move at, the pace that you're going to like walk at, you are giving that to the Lord. So don't, be, don't think too much on how fast it's going to be, how quickly do we need to get there, or how slow do we need to get there. The Lord, I just see how He's just going to pace you. So you can just be be rested in Him and be seated in Him and see how just how, how He moves you, how He's going to, to nudge you into the place that you need to be. And I really see how it's going to be good and, and prosperous. Be blessed. So, Billy, um, uh, the Lord is showing to me first healing your heart and then healing your family and then healing your finances. And so the Lord says, come before me and let me put my anointing oil on your heart and, and heal your heart. Okay. God bless you, Vili. God bless you, Audrey. Uh, so the next word is for Michelle. Uh, Michelle, uh, the Lord is showing to me how you are a very prominent, proper person and how you have a lot of resources that you can help the poor, you can speak wisdom into people's life and you got a strong gift of encouragement. And so now the Lord is going to take you into places where people say, I would not usually speak to a fancy woman like this uh, but the Lord has opened up a door and so I see how you just speak to people that are really struggling and you bring hope to them you speak encouragement to them you even use some of your resources to bless and as you do it the Lord gives you more time back he gives you more resources back uh, and the Lord is also uh, expanding your capacity and so I just felt that the, the Lord says uh, I'm opening up the door for you to be a blessing to people and uh, even if it takes time, uh, it is worth it because um, uh, it's going to have a long-term effect on people's lives and also a long-term effect on the kingdom of God as people come into His kingdom and minister for the Lord. God bless you. Emma Michelle, this next word is for Dominica. The Lord shows me how He's just placing these angels around you, and He wants you to know that you are protected, that you are safe, that that where you are, where you are going into this new chapter into your life, that He is going before you, and He is setting the ground. The Lord shows me how 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 you don't need to fear, how you just need to to hold on to His word. The Lord shows me how He is, how, how people have prophesied over you that, that, so, that so and so or this will happen or be ready for this. And the Lord shows me, hold on to my words because those are my words that I'm speaking over to you. Hold on to those words. Remember my words and, 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 and go in faith wherever you go and know that He is surrounding you, that He has placed angels there to protect you. Be blessed. Hey, Dominica, you're a young person, you're full of energy and walk in the joy of God. Um, that, don't worry about small things, just, just move on. Uh, it's your choice if something is, a dra is drama in your life or not. Connect your emotions with God, not with circumstances. God bless you. Okay, so Xavier, uh, the Lord shows me, uh, like in the Bible, when it talks about different of, of these um, Patriarchs of God, how they had, you know, a thousand donkeys and a thousand sheep and a thousand goats. Uh, and I just felt that the Lord says that you are going to have thousands uh, of uh, those different things in your life that are going to multiply and going to be a blessing. And you're going to uh, be able to have a voice and to, to own land and to be someone in a position of authority. And so you're not going to be insignificant, but you're going to be dominant in a region. And so the Lord is giving you the authority and that wealth and a blessing upon your life. And so trust in Him. He is good and He will multiply you. God bless you. Uh, amen. This next word is for Ricky. Ricky, the Lord shows me how you shouldn't wait too long before you before you set the ground because the Lord shows me how He's bringing you seeds that, that you are that you or something that you need to invest and that how it is going to grow. Don't wait too long. 
even even now even maybe maybe it's still going to be a while but you don't know what it is start going and, and setting the ground and and be prepared and and don't be someone who's going to wait for the last minute oh oh you hear something is coming let me quickly sort out everything because the Lord shows me how he, he you are somebody who works well when you have a lot of time to do something when you can do it not not necessarily but have have thought into what you're doing because when you are rushing you don't always think you just think this needs to be done it doesn't matter how it's done it just it just needs to be done the Lord's saying take your time with this and just be ready for 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 this provision that he is going to bring you be blessed okay awesome uh, thank you very much Ricky um, God bless you as family. It was wonderful for me and Kimi to minister to each one of you If you would also like to receive word in the same format write your name in the comments. God bless you Thank you for joining unity with heaven Remember to subscribe like comment and join our newsletter if you want to support us Please click on the PayPal link my God bless you abundantly Remember you are valuable and we love and appreciate each one of you. If you enjoyed this content and you want to see more, please click here. Yeah.